Hello YouTube friends. Welcome to part nine of preparing and caring for large seahorses. We're going to continue our discussion on acquiring seahorses with a focus on captive bred specimens. I do want to start off by saying there are some negatives to purchasing captive bred species. One is they're quite expensive, often double or triple the cost of wild caught versions. But you do have to think about a lot of time and money is invested raising those seahorse fry from newborn stage up until reproducing adults. Another disadvantage is most of the time you'll have to pay some sort of shipping cost unless you live near a facility. And again, unless you live near a facility that breeds seahorses, you're usually not able to hand select what your seahorse is going to look like. However, there are far more advantages that outweigh the disadvantages. A lot of times the color base the saddling, and the siri on captive bred seahorses is much more elaborate than in wild caught specimens. Because captive bred seahorses likely have never even lived in or known the ocean, they are not exposed to those ocean pathogens that can cause problems in a closed system like an aquarium. And for that reason, they tend to be hardier and healthier than wild caught. So the chances for an aquarist to successfully keep seahorses greatly increases with captive bred. Another huge advantage with captive bred seahorses is that most of them already are accustomed to eating frozen foods such as frozen mysis shrimp or even frozen adult brine shrimp. And another large benefit to purchasing captive bred seahorses is that you are helping to conserve the populations in the wild. Seeing all the benefits of captive bred species over wild caught, I highly recommend them. The cost is definitely worth the investment if you're looking for long-term success. Thanks so much for watching, take care, and see you in part 10, Acclimating New Seahorses.